Victoria in the yesteryears had some outstanding photographers. Batanwi, CC Sport, Popular Photos, Ever Ready, and Easy Life. They operated photo studios and carried out field work even beyond Victoria. Their tools were very remarkable, especially the pinhole camera. Their pictures were very resistant and durable. Our spotlight today is on Easy Life photos of Gardens to Embassy Bay in the yesteryears. years. We meet Mr. Norum, the son of Easy Life, who has kept the Dutch studio alive. The pictures in the 60s and 70s are surviving up till today, even under cold conditions. What contributed to all of that, the durability of those pictures? I believe it's the chemical they use at that time. Because the Germans, they have very good chemical that lasts for quite a long time. It's not like the Chinese, the Chinese chemical that are coming in now. It doesn't last just like, because we have pictures that was taken in the 60s, 70s, up to now they're still very fine and clean. There's no, uh, nothing wrong with the picture. So I believe it's the way that they are manufacturing the chemicals today. The quality of paper that was used for the pictures, did it also contribute to them lasting so long? Yeah, I believe so. Because during that period, the alpha paper that we use is very nice and lasting. But the paper they use today is light and it doesn't last. After some time, you see it starts peeling off. So I believe it's the, the, the paper that they're drink now is they are making now is not like one they used to make at that time. The story in the studio was fascinating. People come to the studio with bicycles. At times they will like to have the snapshot outside with their bicycle. So would come inside, depending the the atmosphere for that time, they would pose with their bicycle. And how were they posing with their bicycles? Some would climb and be smiling, some will stand and hold the bicycle, some will hold the bicycle and be pointing like this, demonstrating that this bicycle belongs to me. Is it the same story they told their father, that if they had that bicycle, they will go places if they show that picture? Yes. They always say that they will send those pictures in the village so that they will see how they have prospered in, in the city. Nobody ever took a picture, maybe placing the leg by the radio or something? They did. People snap and have different poses uh, with, the, with, the, with the radio. Some will bend down like this and hold the radio. Some will take the radio up like this. Some will stand and be pointing at the radio. That's what I witnessed at that time. Do you know how far those photographs went? Was your father not asking them why they had to yes. come with the radio? No, he does. Some, like the other one that I witnessed, told my father that this picture will be going to the village so that they will know that they are working very hard in the town and they have bought a radio. Because by then it was not easy to have a radio. How were you producing these kind of pictures? Yeah, when my father was working with pictures, especially enlargement, as at that time they have a, something like a mascara, which have different different colors. They will use their brush, their painting brush, they paint the face, paint the background, paint the clothes. And when you look at it, you just be exactly like a color picture because at that time there were there weren't any uh, color pictures. 